everybody, it is day two of the sardine protocol. Sardine challenge for 30 Experiment. days. Experiment. Hey, you guys, hope you're coming along with us and give it a try. Yes, indeed, because I am doing a sardine recipe every single day. Yes, I am, so come along. Let's get started. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry, and our little dog is little Sally Girl. She's Sally Schnickerdoodle, but we call her Sally Girl. She sounds like she's rolling around out there. Anyway, how is everybody doing, you guys? For the month of October, excuse me, for the month of November, Harry and I have decided to do a sardine challenge. We are adding one can each of sardines a day minimum. But we already started. For 30 days. We started, but you guys, I have been reading the comments about yesterday. I was terrified about eating sardines. I don't like heads, tails, fins, fish, eyeballs staring at me. I just don't. Avid fisherman all my life can't stand that part of it. But the season brand wild caught skinless boneless sardines in 100 percent olive oil now they have two kinds one with the heads the tails the fins and you don't want that one you want this one if you like tuna canned tuna i'm telling you please give these a try not all canned tuna tastes the same not all They're canned not all albacore equal. taste the same they aren't not all sardines I heard are the same. I'm saying these are the ones I tried and these are as mild as tuna. There was no smell. They're very mild. They're firm in texture. And I am going to make these today like I would make my tuna salad. I'm gonna bring everybody along and I'm gonna share. I was very surprised. You don't eat the oil. You drain the oil off. You don't eat it. And I was very pleasantly surprised. If you don't want the oil, you can rinse it beforehand. I open my can of tuna, I put it through a sieve, I rinse it, and I let it dry. I have to wash with soap and water the can because I can't stand the can. But I love the taste of tuna. I love canned salmon. If you like those things, I'm sure you will like these. Give them a try, but get this brand, because this is the only one I can, I can give you my honest, true opinion on and review on, is this brand, skinless, boneless, packed in olive oil. Tuna that is packed in water smells stronger than tuna packed in oil. Unfortunately, they pack tuna in oil in soy oil. So that's the issue, unless you can get it wild caught packed in olive oil. Well, that was olive That's oil. the difference. This olive oil has kept it clean and wholesome and delicious smelling, very mild, delicate, firm. I want it firm, I don't want it mushy. And I really like these. Now, you can get these, for a 12 pack for $25.45 and we'll put the description link down in the description below so you can click on that and go through our store and get it. For no additional cost to you, you guys, but I found it just in case you don't live near a Costco. This is the brand our Costco carries. And the ones that we've gone to carry, I'm not sure if in a different state because they do buy yeah, different products in different areas of the United States all so, through, all the and Canada. Too. So it could be different. But I've heard that King Oscar is a good brand as well. But I would look for skinless, boneless, packed in oil first as your first All try. Of them if, you can. if you're brand new to this, you've never done it before because it looks, it's the most benign, mild, neutral flavor of fish. Very, very much close to tuna and albacore. It's more firm like an albacore is. So the good news is, is you know, sardines are little fish. They're not long lived and they live on plankton. So you get in the plankton, the plant life, they're vegans. They're ocean vegans. So you're not getting the mercury content 
that you would in the fish that live older, get larger, and are um, carnivorous and eat other fish. Like tuna, like swordfish, they are carnivorous. They eat other fish. So they're, they're gleaning the fish. Remember, we are what we eat. That includes fish. They're eating other fish, so that mercury level builds up. The older they get, the more it accumulates. So the bigger the fish, the longer it's lived. These guys are little, they don't live long, and they're vegans. Yes, they are. So that's a very good thing to remember. If you like sardines as much as you like tuna, I would go for the sardines because of that simple fact. Tuna. Even though it's wild caught, you get the smaller kinds. They still are carnivorous. They're eating other fish. This is eating plankton. So I'm just sharing that information with you guys. You guys do what you need to do for you. But I just thought I would share because I thought that was fascinating. I was reading and watching. And you guys, I have been binge watching sardine recipes because I want to bring sardine recipes to you all. Yes, I do. Now, what's, what's really amazing is I've been with her for almost 40 years, right? And she sat and watched me eat sardines for the last 40 years and never even touched one. Would it? Wouldn't, Wouldn't. even do it. I, she finally did it because, well, somebody else said to try it. Not me, right? Uh -huh, that pretty much and figures. I'm looking for recipes. Well, you're making I'm some up too. I, I've been. Well, I, I have. Been I looked because, on your desk. You're writing yes, some stuff. Because I'm watching some recipes over in um, Europe, Italy, you know, Sardinia, all of these places where they use pastas and stuff, and I'm writing them keto. I'm rewriting recipes because I'm so jazzed about this. Because all of the the good things I've seen and heard and read about sardines. So now that I have sardines in my life. Uh, this for the next 29, 30 days, you guys are going to see sardines. And I thought I might as well make them delicious because who wants to sit on a rock in the middle of nowhere no, I, I was <laughs> eating fine a with can it. of sardines? I was fine with it. I know. Here he is. And that's cute. I'm teasing him. But camping, hiking, you guys, backpacking, putting one of these in your pocket, they're awesome. And I want to share why these are awesome too. As far as purse bacon is concerned, maybe purse sardines. <laughs> Dr. Boss has it right. Throw one in your glove compartment, you guys. Shelf stable. Shelf stable. Yeah, you're break down um, somewhere. You got some deep. That's right. Absolutely, he's right. She's right. And they're pre-cooked. So She's she right. is right. Her, grand her grandfather was right. Keep one in your glove compartment. Okay, you guys. Ha! Huh. As you can see, I'm dressed for the gym. We're going to eat. Oh, and can I show we, this? Yes. I got to show this, guys. Well, I'm dressed for the gym. What shoes you got on today, Wendy? Uh, these ones, I think, are... Can't remember, but I got my I got my, I got my socks on. Got my crazy socks. Full bars, of course. But, um, you guys, we are going to the gym. We are meeting with the trainer. He's going to go over everything. It's going to be about an hour today. We're going to get into specifics. We're going to get our fat and all of those things done. So you guys, <laughs> Harry, Harry's doing this. Yeah, insert what we did. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's doing this. That means insert. Okay. Ah. Insert. So before we leave, we will insert our morning numbers. I had, you guys, I did it within 20 minutes of waking up. Yeah. Right. I got up, did ablutions very quickly because I'm going to the gym. Then I'm going to hop in the shower when I get back. So here's our morning number. When he did ablutions, I cleaned up. It's finger pricking time. It's finger pricking time. Where are you, Harry? I got you all ready to go. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what sardines have done. Day one. This is day two of sardines already, Harry. Oh my gosh! Point four. Point oh my gosh! Nice, huh? It is zero point nine. I've been up thirty-three minutes. Yes, indeed. Holy moly! That's what I'm talking about. Well, that's the dawn effect. As I said, I have been up less than thirty minutes. One thirty-one. 
Oh, I don't know. Do I have any blood to try again? Nope, already coagulated. 95. So my blood's back down to the 90s. And what was mine? 0 0.9. Near 90 what? Zero, uh, 0 0.4. 95 and 0 0.4. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. So I know it's the dawn effect. Yes, I'll check mine later today, you guys. Yes, I will. Because I've only been up 30 minutes. But I've got to get some coffee now. I had the morning dawn effect. I had a nice ketone number, 0 0.9, but I was 131. So I'd like to test that later in the day. Now, we are going to the gym. We will come back. We will share. If we can, we'll insert a little, just a dinky bit. You guys, we're not going to go into the workout and the whole thing. We're not nah, turning into a workout. Not into that. We're not turning into a workout uh -huh. channel. However, it's very happen. important to add some exercise, strength, weight resistant things into your life. The older we get, Basically. the more we need it. Not the cardio. You need strength training. Basically, I'm going today to see how bad I am. I know we are starting from scratch. Let's put it that way. Because I haven't, we haven't done anything in what, three, four years? Yes. Because all the different things that have happened. And everyone, well, actually, us, since my heart thing, yes. I haven't been really doing much 20, anything. 2023, Harry. Yeah. Yeah. That's almost 10 years. 13. Thir no, 2013 is when I had it done. Right. And 2023 is coming around the corner. That's 10 right. years. So let's, I'm kind of curious to see how, how out of shape I am. Yes. And it's coming on bike riding season, hiking season, walking season. And I think we are very out of shape. Yes, indeed. So you guys come back in the next segment and we'll go over just a little bit and let you know we how thought. we feel about it. Everybody, we are back from the gym. We joined LA Fitness. We have silver sneakers, so it is free to us. If you are a senior citizen and you have health insurance, type in silver sneakers program because it could be free to you as well. Yes, indeed. And they have at home, if you are in mobile, you can't, your limited mobility, you are in the house, they have silver sneakers online that you can log into and do exercises at home. So check into silver sneakers, please, please, please. Okay, you guys, we got to do just a little filming of our warm up on the recumbent bike. Yeah, so I'm gonna about, insert yeah. that right here. Right now. Hey everybody, we are at LA Fitness. We just met with Braxton, who is a uh, trainer, and went over everything. He's got us on a five minute warm up on a recumbent bicycle. Then he's gonna put us through what he thinks based on the information we gave him. We've been here since 11. And he's been interviewing us since five to noon. So he did an in-depth analysis, body fat score, all kinds of stuff. So I'm very impressed so far. I'm trying to pedal as I yes, do. Yes, Harry's trying to pedal. Well, here I am. I'm at the gym what? with Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I got to say. You're doing it. I'm doing it. Just do it. Yeah, just, just do it, right? Okay. Hi. Look at this happy boy. Isn't he happy? Happy, 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 Harry. <laughs> so you guys get done with our warm up. We'll see you guys back home. But I'm excited because we're at the gym at last. Okay, you guys, we were there an hour and it was very informative. They are very, um, they went over We were everything. there longer an hour. They height, weight, body fat ratio. They did all kinds of questionnaires. They did our body to protein, I mean, our body to muscle ratio. They did so many things. I was amazed at how long we were there. And actually, we had to cut it short, which was at an hour because during the ex, I went fasted. Yeah, we can't do that. And I cannot do that. Uh, my blood sugar hit the floor. 
I got uh, cold and clammy Thought you were after pass exercising out. and we had to come home and I grabbed a package of keto chow. I put it in a shaker, put some oil in it and drank it down because it, has, up, yeah. it has carbs, it has fat, it has um, electrolytes and it has vitamins. And I sat down for about 20 minutes. I took my blood pressure in, it was through the floor, 90 over 60. And I was cold and clammy. So going forward for Harry and I, we are making a keto chow shake and drinking it 30 minutes before we go to the gym. And then I want to take electrolytes with me. It has and, uh, and, it, and we can take electrolytes with us, although Keto Chow has electrolytes. And the reason for that is I am finding out that I have been and did not know I am extremely insulin resistant. I have issues with hypoglycemia. I was cold, clammy, shaky, everything. So I need to have something yeah, I got a little lightheaded. Like a keto chow before we go. And if you don't have, if you don't get, and I'm not telling you to drink your food, I'm just saying this is what Harry and I are doing. A lot of gym, you know, if we want to grab and go with something. I don't want heavy food on my stomach because I don't want to get queasy and sick from exercising. So for me and Harry right now, not being able to exercise on a fasted state, I'm gonna have a keto chow every morning. That is what we are doing. Well, how many a days a week shake, we gotta go? A pre-workout. We're going Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We signed up for a, and we're getting some extra um, training. We're getting a private trainer one day a week because we are so out of shape and because of our hip replacements, bad knees and such, and my balance, I'm needing to have somebody help me uh, stabilize as I'm doing my exercises and stuff. And so I need a trainer. And so we are paying the extra money because we care enough about ourselves to do that. So we are doing it together. They're doing a two for one in, in the training session and he and I are having a semi-private, I guess, because it's both of us. Yeah. We're gonna be doing the same things as we go. So that is what Harry and I are doing for us. But I was very shaky, had to come home, have that. I, I Keto chow was the fastest thing. I didn't have any bacon. I didn't have first bacon to take. I was not prepared. I didn't have any electrolytes with me. I'm taking electrolytes with me. I am taking something that I can eat or drink beforehand because right now my body doesn't tolerate fasting because I burned through every bit of, of, of energy that I had in the way of any glucose from the morning and then my body wasn't revved up enough to get me through the workout. Um, we did three, one, two, three different things. Four. four. We did four different things um, and then I literally had to I had to stop it and we had to get home as soon as we could because I was shaky. So that is something you need to watch out for. You need to be careful of, especially if you're like us and you've been sedentary for a very, very, very long time. If you have any kind of insulin resistance, if you are a type two diabetic and you've even gone off your medicines, you still need to be cognizant and aware of that fact. As you get older, your body reacts I think more quickly or more severely to things than you did when you were younger. Your body is not as forgiving as you get older. At least in my opinion, right. humble well, opinion, I'm know, not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I am not in the medical field anymore. Two out of two had a problem. Yes. So, so you and me, I, that, I got lightheaded and yes. you got really bad. And that is what we are doing. And I don't need to tell you guys that that, that is what we're doing every day. <clears throat> and I don't even need to show that to you guys. Just know that it's in my macros and I have it in there because I want to share more about the sardines and how to make them. Well, and every day, honey, we're I doing make. something with sardines so every day. So we're doing something different with sardines every day. And that's what I want to um, highlight in these videos. Yes, indeed. So you guys, what did we weigh this morning? <sighs> You know, it's amazing to me because we've added back our sweet flavors. We've added back keto chow because we had keto chow last night as a snack. We had sardines. Um, 
And you guys, Harry and I went down again. Yeah. Harry went down two tenths. I went down two tenths. So he is getting closer. I'm getting closer. I still need to get down here. But not yeah. only that, but we are sleeping sounder and uh, we're getting deeper sleep. Now, because we're adding back calm, <coughs> this is something I'm adding back. Uh, my friend Paula told me about it. It's basically citric acid, organic lemon flavor, organic raspberry flavor, other natural flavors, organic stevia extract. Here's the information right here on the ingredients and the nutritional label. We'll put the link below. Is it in our Amazon store? I have her link. Oh, okay. Her link is down below. I'm okay. Anyway, you guys. If they want to go hook up with Paula, they can hook up uh, through oh, that link. Oh, okay. I put a little scoop. It's just a little scoop. I put this scoop. I don't know if I got this scoop with it or if this is one of my electrolyte scoops. I put one of these scoops. Well, it should say on the bottom what it is. I can't see it here. It's powdered. It's all covered. I put this and I put keto chow. I put a half a, this is a half a teaspoon of keto chow electrolytes in it. And we drink this about an hour before we go to bed, mm -hmm. you guys. Oh, and sorry, I put a, I put a small scoop. I'll show you. MSM Pure has, I got the big tub this time. Which was smart. Yes. Uh, I put one of the small scoops. Now, this is a, um, if you like tart drinks, tart with a little dinky winky bit of bitterness, that's what it tastes like. You can add uh, regular electrolyte with sweeteners and stuff if you want to but that's what we add and we sip on this with ice in the glass I find it very refreshing it is it's great and it has bed. been helping both of us Harry actually is sleeping longer I slept eight hours he slept eight hours and he does never does that you guys especially he, since we were doing the BBB I was only getting four to yeah, five hours he was not sleeping I long couldn't at sleep all. at all as soon as we changed back over the following night I started sleeping good again yes so, so I don't know what the deal is. I guess maybe it takes time for your body to get used to the to all that. I don't know. Anyways, I'm sorry. Anyway, you guys. So we wanted to share that with everybody. Um, we're not going to get too heavy into the exercise, other than maybe show you a clip or two. Um, but we are going to be exercising. We're going to be going to the gym and doing uh, resistance training Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And we'll take little snippets, but I don't want to get exercise centric, but I want to remind people to do that on a daily basis. Yes, I do. And. Trying yeah, to I didn't know I needed it so badly until, until we did that Until I went today and I yeah. didn't realize how. And when I saw how you did, I went, oh man. We really got to do this. Unstable, I am. Yeah. I am. And you're not going alone. I am unstable. Um, my my equilibrium is not very good, and I have been babying my hip replacement leg so badly that I need to quit lifting the leg up and placing it and doing things. And I realized that. Um, and she waddles when she walks too, because she's trying to. Stay, I think stay off that. I'm leg. walking wrong. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of things I've learned today that I've gleaned today that I and I am absolutely have no strength in my arms, my upper arms. So we are starting brand new babies. I asked him. I said, when he dropped, kept dropping the weight lower and lower, and I said, Do you, you got have to the like, last weight. Yeah, two Pepsi cans I can use. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the small yeah. ones, one in this hand, one in this hand. You want the the six ounces. Yeah. yeah. He started cracking up. But, you know, I'm sorry. My arms are like, you know, I'm like shaking. And I am I am not embarrassed about saying yeah, that because yeah. I am, th nobody cares. Yeah. I am there to help myself. And Harry is there to help himself. So anyway, I was very pleased. I even wore my pants everything. backwards. He did. I'm like, why are those pockets looking funny, right? Yeah. That's Harry for you, but let me go into this before I forget, because I keep trying to go to it and I keep forgetting. Okay, you guys, carb manager, what did we eat yesterday? 
my uh, calories were 1,386 and I need to talk to him about, we didn't get to the caloric value. All right. uh, total carbs were 20, protein was 92, fat was 104, okay? Started with my breakfast, my lunch, was mayonnaise, butter, mustard, mayonnaise, a whole can of, I pulled the wrong one, but that's about the same pro, um, calories. And my buttermilk bread. And then dinner, we had raw eggs. You guys didn't see that, or did they? Mayonnaise on it. I don't know, I can't remember. And then we had keto chow. We had schnickerdoodle, it was amazingly delicious. I worked on so much yesterday stuff, I, I, I don't know. Hey you guys, we didn't get the bread on the Loving It on Keto, but we moved it over to uh, Keto Cooking with Wendy channel. So it's right here. If you wanna see how I make my buttermilk bread version 2.0, go to the end of this click on that video will be there and you will get it and the recipes we're going to start hitting that hard and heavy putting recipes up there for those of you who want the recipe you don't have time you want to go to something just short and simple recipe wise go to plus if you ever want to go back and look at yes. plus if you ever want to go back and just see yes. what the recipe is and we was. say what it is sometimes in our channel i do a recipe and you don't know which one it is because it's hidden somewhere under a different name well the Keto Cooking with Wendy channel will say exactly what it is I'm cooking. So you know, and there will be a picture of it on the front so it's easier to find. And I'm bringing old ones over there also. Yes, for the same reason. For that We're gonna reason. We're going to name them and tag them and the recipes will be pinned in the comments for easier access. Right. Also. And I can only do so many at a time, so, you know. Also. You guys got, if you guys got any favorites, you better tell me because uh, I'm just going to go along and grab one every once in a while of the old ones and put it up between the ones when he's doing now. Sorry. Also, <laughs> please remember to like and subscribe. If you go to Keto Cooking with Wendy's channel, Harry, you got to let me finish. I try to let you see. We interrupt each other all the time. Well, I got to have a reason to keep working on because this stuff. Our brains. The, we, 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 our brains just remember something and it's like the light is dimming well, as the other person's talking so we have to hurry up and say it. Can I say something? Yes. The whole reason why... Turn the... Oh my Talking gosh. head. Don't, come on. Well, what? that's right. We're doing the talking head thing right what? now. The come whole on. reason why I put that channel together was because everybody was telling me they Couldn't want find this the one and that recipe and this recipe and that recipe. So I went ahead and did it. And then we couldn't do it because of all the things in our lives that, that happened. happened with my mom. So now we're up to speed and we're doing it again. Yes, we are. So um, if you guys want me to continue to do this, you got to go check them out because it, it takes a, quite a while to do one of these. It takes more time takes in our day, day yeah, for him to do it. It's taking more time away. So if you guys, I can only decide through by views. If the, if the views aren't there, it's kind of like not really worth it for me to put all this time into it. You know what I mean? So if it's something that looks like you guys really want me to continue, go check them out. And the likes okay. and subscribes helps us oh, gosh, too. Yes. It helps grow our channel and we get paid. Yes, we do. Nickels and dimes. Yeah, I made a whole dollar sixty-five on it. On it. So far. So far. Woo! Woo! I'm excited. Yeah. You know. The month is young. Yes, it is. Anyway, you guys, go check it out. But. What else was I gonna say? Did I do you? No, I didn't. No. Because I went. You got busy. So I'm talking about stuff. I got talking. Okay, Harry, let's see his. Hurry up, I'm hot. You're hot. I'm I hot, think, man. No, I think you're hot. I know I'm hot. Here you go. You know it. You know it, These baby. Little thin arms, okay. You better watch out. 1765. He had 22 total carbs. Protein was 107. Fat was 143. He had the coffee like I did and the MCT oil for breakfast. He had the buttermilk bread, the season certified. Oh, look, 10, 10 calories less on mine because I found seasons for you. Uh, mayonnaise, Kerrygold butter. You had um, four eggs right. scrambled with Kirkland bacon crumbles on it. Which is so good. Oh, that was so good. And mayonnaise. Can we had mayonnaise again? on it. And then we had schnickerdoodle and Anthony's butter on that. 
You like that? I'm curious to see what you're going to do with the sardines today. Because she doesn't tell me. She withholds information. Well, I am going to do that. And we're going to do that right now because you guys, it's already 2.47. Yeah, because I'm like so And all hungry. we've had is our coffee and thank goodness for the keto child because that was awesome. Oh, I'm brought, making one so I can broke, do it. Brought you out of it right away. Yeah, within 30 minutes, I stabilized. I was calm. I wasn't sweaty. I wasn't clammy. I, it worked. And I'm doing what works for me. Yeah, you guys yes, got to find am. out what. Well, so if you don't have, if you don't like, you if you don't it, want yeah. Keto Chow, but you have a different brand like Equipped or uh, one of the other good uh, Perfect Keto uh, brands, you know, like the Perfect Keto uh, protein powder, um, any of those, that's fine. And if you want to do that, a lot of people say don't drink your calories. However, for us working out, I don't want a full. I don't want meaty gut while I'm trying to work out. And eventually I want to build my body and correct my body and heal my body enough that I can exercise on a fasted state. I could not do that today. My body would not allow it. So until I can get all of these take things taken care of, I'm gonna add one in the morning as a pre-workout. That's what I'm doing. It's anyway. not, wait, it's not like when he's going for like Miss 70s universe. You know, 70-year-old no. universe or anything. We're just trying to get... 70-year-old universe. universe. That would be about right because I'm going to be 69 in March. So I would have a little bit over a year to get ready for that's it. That's right. So. so, you know, don't... <laughs> that's that's it right there, man. Yes. Yeah, let's see the glutes. Yeah. I don't know. Glutes are down here. I know. <laughs> I don't think about that. Where are the glutamus maximus? Uh -huh. Back here. Here. Yeah, let's see the glutes. There you go. You know, bring them forward. You got to yeah. do this bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. anyway, not doing that. Anyway, you guys, I know they have them. I know there's some ladies out there that are oh, amazingly oh, awesome. Sure. I, amazingly awesome. Sure. I just want to get healthy. Can we the eat? Yes, I can. We can, but you kept bringing up things. No. It, yeah, you make me talk, Harry. It's come on, let's go. It's all your fault. Anyway, you guys, next segment, sardine time. It's sardine time. It's sardine time. Yes, it is, you guys. And what am I making today? Now, Karen, dearling, you're going to remember this recipe. When we used to work at Northwest Nut, and we'd go across to... Uh, um, yeah, what was the name of that place? I can't remember the little cafe that we used to go across to. And... The first time I went there and ordered a tuna sandwich, I saw the big hunks of the purple black olives in it. I go, what is this? And she goes, oh, that's the way we make it. It's got catamala olives in it. And I thought, catamala olives and tuna? And you said, trust me, it's delicious. Eat it. And I fell in love. It was kind of a Greek uh, take on it. It had onions and um, catamala olives in it. All right. Remember that? Remember that? Oh, Man, it was so good. John Ryberry and Ryan Ryberry's mom owned the little cafe. Anyway, you guys, that was my first experience with Kalamata olives and tuna. And over in Italy, they use it all the time. They use the olives in a lot of their dishes and a lot of their pasta dishes. So I thought, why not use it in my sardines? So this is what I'm doing. I'm going to take the two cans of sardines. I'm going to drain them and I'm going to put the meat in here and I'm going to weigh the total meat. I'm going to weigh everything totally so Harry and I get exactly half. It's just easier to do that. I have got pitted cal Kalamata olives, and I've got 12. We each get six. Ooh. Harry's going to chop them. We've got this nifty dipty um, slicer dicer we've had forever, and when you do it really fast, it chops them up really nicely. Yeah, easy to clean, too. That's one of my major I'm, things. I'm going to put yellow mustard, classic avocado mayo chosen i get this at costco it's 8.97 right now at costco if you get this at any other store you're paying double the price double and it's usually a smaller container yeah true. i'm putting onion granulated onion in it because i don't have any raw onion and raw onion bothers my stomach and i'm putting just a dash of dill weed I'm going to taste it first, and then I may or may not add dill weed. Let's say that, because I just think this is going to be good enough, but I may want some dill, and we'll see. Kalamata olives are salty, so I want to taste it before I salt it. We're going to put these on my buttermilk bread as and eat them as a sardine, sardine spread sandwich. So, you guys. Sounds interesting. Let's get started. I'm excited. 
I'm very excited about this, Terry. I need you to chop these up. Okay. That's okay. magic cameraman. So these don't have seeds, right? Nope. Or whatever they're. Nope. Voila. I love this thing. Okay. Yeah, but do uh, do they still sell it because it's so old? They they have one like it. Okay. On um, on Amazon, they have one just like it, pretty close. Oh, there's a couple big ones in there. You gotta get the big ones. There we go. Guys, look at that. Look how nice that does. There's there's a. Uh, oh, there's a couple big ones. It's all right. It's all, all right, right, I'll fix it. That's so fine. It's okay. All right. Thank you, dear. Thank yep. you, dear. Palomata olives are a little teeny weeny bit softer. Uh, they're not as firm in texture, at least these ones aren't. So I just go through with my scissors and cut the few big ones that I see. Just get your the scissors you use on your foods. Yep. There we go. And wash your scissors. Anyway, you guys. Next step is Harry needs to uh, open these up for me. Be careful when you open your sardines because when you pop it, you're gonna you could pop oil all over yourself. Well, let me show what I do. Okay, I'll let you show Since what you I do. Since I don't have the uh, dirt ground to work with, <laughs> or the rock, or the rock. Don't forget the rock. You know, I used to really I used to take I used to wear gloves. You know, right. I had gloves and I take the gloves off before I open this. Here, take. Well, this. sure, you don't want sardine smell. Right. Okay, he's in the sink. Okay, so I'm in the sink and I, you know, pull him off in the sink. And if you don't, I'd use a spoon. If you, you know, if you don't want to hurt your nails. Don't pop it with your nails. Use yeah, the back of a spoon, a knife, a fork. Or something like that. Pop it up. And just pull it up in the sink. And that way if it spills, it's not, you know, it's not, it's, it's, not, it's not a real big thing, right? Just leave it there because I like to wash them. I can't stand the smell after I'm done with any fish. I have to wash the cans with soap and water and take them outside to the trash. My bowls have to be washed afterwards. I'm just weird, but that's just me. Okay. Perfect. So okay. now I don't have it on me. I don't have it anywhere, and I can wash the sink out if I spill anything. <laughs> so he's going like this. I just pulled those things out of the dryer today. You just, oh, Harry. But Marty, you don't wipe tuna hands on your pants. Sardine oil, nothing. I'm gonna. You smell my no. fingers. Smell my fingers. <laughs> Marty, you better be good. I'm good all the time, man. I'm good. Would you like me to hold that while you wash your hands? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? No, here, take it. You want to take it? Take it. Soap. Did you use soap? Yeah, I use soap. To, I got three types of soap. Like hand cleaning soap. Well, dishwashing soap, go after the grease soap. Dawn. Yep. Okay, here's this, because I had to get a fork. You want this? Uh, no, you can hang it back where you got it from. Fold it nice. I gotta fold it right if yes, not. Yes, you too. Oh fold my it, gosh. Fold it right. Come here. Does it look good? It does. Okay. Beep beep. Okay, over here, folks. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay. Oh, look, they left a little. Oh, don't look at that one. It's got skin on it. It's got uh -oh. some skin in the game. Just get your fish, sardines, put them in the bowl. Be careful because you can drain them. I, I should have shown them how to drain them, but. Well, that's all right. It's no biggie. Get your sardines out of the can. Sure they can figure that out. The idea here is to not dirty up dishes. Yes, it is. In the process. So I do everything like a bachelor or somebody who doesn't, out, out in the field, you don't have a whole lot of amenities to be able to make things nicely. In fact, I used to wash my... Uh, sand. Yeah, I used to use it with a, a dry wash, which is actually use sand or dirt. Until you come to the water uh -huh. where you can use the water. Yeah. Because okay. you know, over there, everything you could you would open up your meal kit, you know, mm -hmm. and it would be full of moss if you didn't uh, wash it out right. I mean, full of. It looks like somebody dished up moss in your kit, and you thought it was clean. Well, thank you, Harry, for giving us that information right before we eat. No. 
Okay, so here's what you want to do, you guys. Here's what you want to do. And of course, I forgot what? to weigh it. I'm at a dodo. That's all right. Just look at the can weight. No, I'll just weigh the whole bowl late after and measure the whole thing. So yeah. let, let me just, I'm going to be measuring. So what I want to do is go ahead and break up your tuna. You break up your, sorry, I keep calling it tuna. Sardines. Break it up just like you would your tuna, right? However, you do mash your tuna. Do you like little chunks? Do you like big chunks in your tuna? Do the same thing with your sardines. Now you guys I like do mine. get a little odor. Well, you do with tuna. You, know, you do with salmon. I know. I'm just telling you. It's not a different, anything different than tuna to me. This does not, is nothing. And you don't really like tuna, which is bizarre. But, hey, you may like it now. You never know. You never know, Harry. You may like it now. What, tuna? Yeah, tuna. Oh, you never know, huh? Yeah. Well, now that I got the camera on, you're going to stop talking. No. Oh, so here, I'm going to put my catamala olives. Kalamata. Okay. You guys say Kalamata, that's the correct way. I end up saying it Kalamata Katamala. I reverse it, I don't know why. So please, you don't, you don't need to tell me how to pronounce it because I know, it's Kalamata. You guys Kalama might say. It's Kalamata, you and guys, I'll say Katamala. Yeah, well, you know, they might say tomatoes, I say tomatoes. Tomatoes, they say. Or tomatoes. They say espresso, and I say espresso. So it's the no, same No, you say, you say espresso, they I say did. Espresso. I just said that. You gotta have a list when you say espresso. No, you say espresso. I say espresso. Okay, same thing, same thing. English, yeah. Okay, here we go. Go back to this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some mayonnaise on it, and this is where I do want to start weighing it. So you put the olives in there. Yeah, put the olives in. Now I'm gonna weigh my may my mayonnaise, and a tablespoon is 14 grams. I'm gonna want about four. Fifty-six grams. Oh no, a lot more than that. Probably a hundred grams, because I want my mushy. That's good. Can we just get to the eating part? Yes, we can. Well, I, that way I'll just do 50-50. So that's fine. Mayonnaise and mustard. Yes, mustard. I don't even need to measure the mustard, you guys, because it's mustard. I just put it to taste. It's French's mustard. There's no calories. I just put a big squeeze. That's probably about a tablespoon. Now I take a little bit of onion powder, and again, I just sprinkle you had just a teeny weeny bit of slivered onion, that would be awesome. We can't eat raw onion very often because it does affect my stomach now. So I've gotten older, things don't work the same as they used to. I used to love onion and I still do, but it doesn't love me. So you just go in and mix it like you would. A tuna salad, a chicken salad. Wait a minute, say that again. So you, you, go in, you go in and you mix this just like you would a tuna salad. A um, chicken salad, salmon salad, egg salad. Put the amount of mayonnaise you like for you. If you like it wet, if you like it dry, if you like it more mustard, if you like it, you know, you can add dill pickles to this. That would be absolutely awesome. I may put some on my sandwich. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it a taste test because the Kalamata olives are salty. So I'm gonna taste it first. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, what do you think? What's it need? Mm. Yeah, it's very good. Does it need it salt? It needs salt. So I'm going to put salt. I'm going to put a little bit of dill. Teaspoon. I'm going to mix this up. If you guys like Old Bay seasoning, that would be delicious with this. If you like a little bit of Tabasco sauce or Louisiana hot sauce, give it a little kick. That would be delicious with this. You 
needs a little bit of more. It needs a little bit more mustard. It's mayonnaise heavy. And just work with it until you find what you like. And that's what I do with my egg salad, my tuna salad, my chicken salad. Same exact thing. Tastes like tuna. Actually, it tastes, it, it has a different flavor, mm -hmm. but it's a nice flavor. Is it? Now, these aren't smoked. You can also get smoked ones. You know, if you're into the smoked fish, some people don't like smoked fish. So read the can well, I would start, that you are going to get very carefully. I would start with these ones that Wendy's started with first off. Because they're the most benign. Yeah, so you can see exactly what it tastes like. It's delicious. Would you make it again? I'm going to make it again. Okay, well, there you go. You know what would be good in this? A chopped hard-boiled egg would be excellent in that. Oh, yeah, we don't have any of those. Remember I used to make tuna and egg salad? Very good. Okay, what I need... I'm thirsty. Is it real salty? No, not at all. What are you drinking? Um, pure sparkling water, 365 foods. It's just sparkling water. No flavor nothing on it. Nothing fancy. Nope, nothing fancy. Um, and I just want this on bread. I don't want to toast it. I just want a real sandwich, a real delicious sandwich. This buttermilk is just so oh, that's delightful. Such a good bread. It is such a good bread. It really is. I'm gonna put these over here. I'll just eat my sandwich on this from this plate. No use wasting plates and having to wash two dishes. Guys, this buttermilk bread is so, so good. Go to the uh, Keto Cooking with Wendy channel, you guys, and go watch it. Give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. It will really help my channel grow. And the buttermilk bread that does not have any of the uh, real butter in it can stay on your counter. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of mustard on our bread. Just across the bread. Just wet the bread a little bit. If you're more mayonnaise centric, you can do that. You know what I think I want? I think I want some dill pickles on this. I didn't even think about dill pickles. I put pickles on my tuna sandwich. Yeah, actually, I might be kind of good. I think it will be delicious. So I'm gonna take the um, spread. Well, you got to take the weight of the plate. So I get another plate, put it on there, zero it out. It's close enough. Yeah, it's close. It's not going to be exact, but it's it's better than what you're trying to do, right? Okay. Ounces. That's a lot. Yeah, we're not going to eat all that, are we? That's a lot. Just got to figure out what you're going to put on the sandwiches. Well, we're going to have to eat this open faced with a knife. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. All right. Why not? Because you have to eat the whole thing because you got to have a, you got to have your full tin. No, this will work. You got to eat your full tin. Yes, just a minute. Sh plant. Wait, let me think. I'm trying to measure. Uh oh, she's thinking. Yeah. Well, everybody Matt be quiet. gonna ooze out well I like your idea of open face I'm, I'm gonna do that oh yeah okay yeah, I'll you just put mine some over I should have got bigger plates I gotta get down to six points five so 
There, there, look. That's half. Let's see. Can you guys see it? Six, five. Do you want bigger plates? I think we need bigger plates now if we're going to do open face. Yeah, good idea. I'm going to stay back. You mean you're not going to be in my face? No, I'm going to stay you're back over right here while she, while she does the plate transfer. Oh, you're cute, little boy. All right, thank you. That's why I love you. Mm. Yes, it is. Sorry, sorry, but it's the truth. Okay, I'm going to put these in the dish area over here. Okay, the rest is whoever gets this plate. Well, we want it about the same. Cause yeah, it is exactly the same. You, you, you 6.5 and 6.5. It's fun. If you like a little uh, greens on yours and you're more keto no. and you want to put some lettuce on these, no. some sprouts on these, no. any of those things, no, you No, I want no go. freaking grass from outside. I know on my you sandwich. don't. I know you don't. Would you like to taste this, Harry? No. Here. I, I want to have it in the sandwich. I know, but here, turn it around. Taste this. Mmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. That worked out. Yeah, I think so. Did I make a mess in my face? Probably. Here. They have these things. They're called napkins or paper towels here. This one. There you go. Okay. Let's get some pickles. I know I'm all over the place. I didn't prepare for this, you guys. You just have to excuse me. Well, she makes it up as she goes. I do. I do. And I'm thinking as I'm going in my brain, it's like I usually chop pickles. But we're going to have some pickles on top. Yeah, give me a few. How many do you want? Three, six on each? Give me, give me like, yeah, give me six. Like that? Three on three and three. That's what I thought. You're a three on three guy, pickle. I, I do everything by threes. Here's feng shui. Three, five, seven. If you like the sweet pickles, use the sweet pickles. If you're a dill pickle, which we are, use the dill pickles. Hey, they've got spicy pickles. Whatever pickle floats your boat, floats your pickle, use them. And you guys, there we go. There you have it, my first sardine. This is sardine spread with kalamata olives and pickles. Yes, indeed, throw a little dill, little onion, mayonnaise and mustard on your bread or in a bowl or on some lettuce or plain any way you look at it it's delicious so you guys gotta eat now you guys i have more mail i'm very excited i got another postcard greet land of the gods yes i did it's from al and paula wendy harry and sally enjoy this postcard from our trip last year to greece i bought this postcard at a real post office in marathon i had to communicate on my own because al darlene couldn't al or darlene neither one could help me hope to see you soon paula paula thank you so much thank you thank you they got to go to greece i know i'd no, love to go to greece yes what a beautiful place and i love postcards so thank you so much now i have a, another postcard from melinda l can't show the front because it's got her address information yes it does Ooh, how pretty mackinac yes or mickinac mackinac isn't that beautiful the enchanted island oh, that's nice. that is just beautiful loved Ooh, look at this I believe this is Big Spring. Big Spring. It's Kitch Itty Kippy. 
It's Michigan's largest spring located in the Palmsbrook State Park in Upper Peninsula. Early Native Americans called it the mirror of heaven. Water bubbles up from the numerous underground springs at a rate of over 10,000 gallons per minute and remains at a constant 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The observation raft makes it possible to view a photograph in the natural phenomenon. Um, Wendy, we were lucky to have a clear in the clouds for this experience. With the sun shining, you could see 45 feet to the bottom. Crystal clear water is breathtaking. You know, I'm wondering if this is clear spring water. I wonder if it's good to drink. I know a lot of people, do they have where you can buy their spring water? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And this is beautiful. This enchanted island is gorgeous. I would love to do Maine and the coast and all those areas. Harry, Wendy, and Sally Girl, and Marty. I just had a whirlwind weekend in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan with my two wonderful children. The fall colors were amazing. I love the fall colors. Washington had them, all the maple trees. I would love to do the 13 colony states in um, during the fall. I think that would be beautiful. I don't know if you've ever been to Michigan. No, I have not, but what a road trip that would be. Yes, it would be, and I'm looking forward to it. I just had to get some cards to share the experience with you. I watch your videos every day and enjoy your recipes and adventures in life. You and Harry are the best. Kisses to Sally Girl to Linda. Linda, thank you so much. I'm telling you, we can't wait to get out and about. I'm telling you, as soon as the craziness and the food and the gas and all those things settle down a little bit. We're gonna be all over the place and we're gonna let you guys know where we're gonna be, when we're gonna be, so we can meet up with you all. But isn't that beautiful? That is just absolutely yeah. lovely. It's really neat. Mackinac. Mackinac Island is one of the oldest inhabited places in the state of Michigan and in the Midwest. Tribal groups collectively referred to as the Anishinaabeg people migrated from the Atlantic coast during the woodlands. Sorry if I enunciated the name wrong, but uh, you know, we lived in Washington state with Snohomish, Puyallup, and all the other good Indian names too. Harry says the battery's dying, but I want to thank everybody for all the wonderful guests. Yes.